Okay, in this session for Magnet Office version 8, I'm going to be showing you how to import a, some cloud data from a folder that I have this, these files contained in. So I've got Point Cloud. Point Cloud is available under Surface. Point Cloud, select that, and it comes up with the, this um, modeless screen which can be set to hidden. And then click on that little icon there, which is basically import point cloud data. So you search for your point cloud data, which mine is under my data folder and in a special folder. So we'll go point cloud, point cloud data. And what I'm going to do is change the file format to LAS or LAZ files. And then select the appropriate file, which will be this one. and go open. It displays this import cloud screen, which is going to be horizontal units of meters, elevation of meters. Go OK. Comes up with this enter cloud name, click OK. And then reads in the file. And now displayed. And this is basically the cloud data that's been displayed on screen that I imported from the LAS file. So under the point clouds option, one can select that and calculating the boundaries, display everything that's on screen. When I've selected that, now it opens up extra options within the menu. You can go to export point cloud, delete point clouds, create point clouds, create points from point cloud. Create DTM from the point cloud, create a boundary from the point cloud, ground filter, delete point cloud, decimate point cloud. So if you click on decimate point cloud, you can have a point reduction based, based on a grid or point reduction, and then reduce the number of points that are in the point cloud. And then select decimate, and it'll update the original or create a new point cloud. Okay, so therefore, I won't, also you can have the point cloud can be geo reference as well. So that basically gives you a whole lot of different functions one, one can do when ground filter and it analyzes the ground. It tells you what the information that's displayed in there, what the differences and the elevations, etc., as displayed on that um, drop down list. Okay, so that's basically how you how one can import a cloud file. So if I zoom in and out, you can, it basically does display pretty clearly um, the data on screen there. And it shows a bridge over here. Okay, so that's basically it. And that, remember, that's under surface point clouds, which you can then make modeless and then have it on the side here, which I have done. After you've imported the file, then click that example of that, well, the cloud name there, and it opens up additional menu options or icons there for you to use. Okay, with the job displayed, you can now select 3D view up the menu bar at the top. And it'll then come up with the 3D view of the actual uh, um, area there. On cloud. And it displays as such. And what you can do is just turn off the grid and you can tilt it, for example, by zooming into that area there, tilt the uh, 3D view. You can zoom in and the clarity of it is pretty pretty damn good actually. So that's uh, yeah. So that basically completes the point cloud uh, function where you can look at where you can basically uh, display it on screen and then select 3D view for a view of what the um, features look like.